Hey, hi. Uh, you know, as um, many of my friends, you know, were always telling me, hey, you know, there's a banking crisis going on right now in the US and um, it's the best time to actually enter and buy the dip, you know, and, um, you know, you got all this Silicon Valley bank collapse and, um, and then you, Europe, you have the Credit Suisse, you know, and of course, there's always, uh, there's been news that this uh, contagion um, effect hasn't ended and um, because with the Fed having yields, uh, treasury yields, the two-year yields and the uh, bond yields and the 10-year bond yields, the bank usually will park those um, monies in, in uh, their monies with all those um, treasury yields. And then, of course, if they were to buy treasury yields a few years ago, they would probably be giving about 1%. But now treasury bond yield has gone up to about four percent so it means that they they will um, also need to pay depositors to actually put in money at about four percent but then the income that they receive is only about like one uh, percent um, which uh, may not be sufficient to cover the interest that they pay for the um, depositors so instead of actually looking at the banks which has uh, may have negative uh, cash flow i'll just show you this company called robin hood so i feel that robin hood actually is a better company it has actually zero debts and um, it actually has um, basically zero debt uh, 100 percent decline year over year robin hood market uh, long-term debts for 2022 was zero billion, 100 percent declined in, uh, from 2021. Um, so it is a, something which is a cash-rich company. And then the Robinhood market cash on hand is 10 over billion. Uh, it was originally 12 over million billion, and they might be making a making doing a break even um, this year in Q2 or Q3 and the share will jump and basically they hold a lot of cash and they don't have to pay anyone interest there were basically everyone deposit money in with the intention of um, buying shares and basically most of the time they might still have cash in hand parked on the sites and they're not expecting any interest so basically uh, Robin Hood with all those cash they can go to the overnight market uh, get interest and they can even lend out money for margin loans and get higher interest uh, from with the shares as a collateral and uh, UI interface for Robinhood also has very well received although it's only in America right now it might be uh, global in time to come so um, I believe that um, you know at this high interest rates um, uh, era up where you know many businesses despite uh, staff uh, cutting cost cutting in operational uh, you know, um, retrenchment exercise uh, if you are burdened with a big amount of loans and even though you might have good cash flow your EPS will be affected so instead of investing in a bank you know might you might be able to might be looking for Robin Hood and this is actually a growth uh, stock which is uh, considered in the Russell's index and uh, they might there might be potential for 10x even so yeah so do consider this company and if you have a uh, thought of actually buying a bank uh, bank shares whether it is uh, morgan stanley goldman sachs or um, uh, you know uh, in the european markets so hope you like the video and um, i will give you more try to do more good content and share with you thank you very much